we want to evaluate the limits at infinity. First, we have the limit of the quantity five plus three e to the x divided by the quantity two e to the power of two x plus seven as x approaches infinity. Let's begin by checking the form of the limit. As x approaches infinity, five is not affected by x. And then we have plus three times e to the power of x. Three times e to the power of x is going to increase without bound or approach infinity as x approaches infinity. Similarly, in the denominator, two times e to the power of two x approaches infinity as x approaches infinity, and seven is not affected by x. The limit is in the indeterminate form of infinity divided by infinity, which means we'll have to change the form of the function in order to determine the limit. And I'll show two methods for doing this. First, if three e to the x is approaching infinity, as x approaches infinity, positive five has almost no impact and we can ignore the positive five in the numerator. Similarly, the plus seven in the denominator has almost no impact as two e to the power of two x approaches infinity and therefore we can ignore the plus seven, which means the given limit is equal to the limit of just three times e to the power of x divided by two times e to the power of two x as x approaches infinity. In this form, we can simplify e to the x divided by e to the power of two x is equal to e to the power of negative x or one divided by e to the x. And let's show some work on this. Again, if we have e to the x divided by e to the power of two x, because we're dividing the bases the same, we can subtract the exponents, which would give us e to the power of x minus two x, which is equal to e to the power of negative x, which is equal to one divided by e to the x. Well, if it's more helpful, we could write e to the power of two x as e to the x squared. So we have two factors of e to the x in the denominator. Simplifying, we get one divided by e to the x, which means when simplifying here, we end up with the limit of three divided by the product of two and e to the x as x approaches infinity. In this form, notice how the numerator stays at three and two e to the power of x approaches infinity as x approaches infinity and therefore the limit is equal to zero. So this will be one approach we can take to determine the limit. Let's take a look at a second method for determining this limit. Remember when we had polynomials in the numerator and denominator, we divided every term by the highest power of x from the denominator, which means another method would be to divide every term by e to the power of two x to determine this limit. So let's also show that method. We would have the limit of five divided by e to the power of two x plus three e to the x divided by e to the power of two x all divided by two e to the power of two x divided by e to the power of two x plus seven divided by e to the power of two x. As x approaches infinity, then we simplify. In the numerator, five divided by e to the power of two x doesn't simplify, plus three e to the x divided by e to the power of two x simplifies to three divided by e to the x. In the denominator, two times e to the power of two x divided by e to the power of two x simplifies to two. And then we have plus seven divided by e to the power of two x as x approaches infinity. Well, notice now as x approaches infinity, five divided by e to the power of two x approaches zero. So does three divided by e to the x. In the denominator, two is not affected by x and seven divided by e to the power of two x approaches zero. Simplifying, we have zero divided by two, which of course also gives us zero. So either method is a valid approach to determine this first limit. And now for the second limit, we have the limit of the same function, but now as x approaches negative infinity. And again, let's check the form. The five is not affected by x. And then we have plus three e to the x. Well, e to the x approaches zero as x approaches negative infinity which we can verify from the graph of y equals e to the x here on the right. Notice as x approaches negative infinity, we can see the function values do approach zero. So if e to the x approaches zero, as x approaches negative infinity, so does three e to the x. 
in the denominator, 2e e to the power of 2x also approaches zero as x approaches infinity, and seven is not affected by x. So for this limit, without changing the form of the function, we can see the numerator approaches five, the denominator approaches seven, and therefore the limit is equal to five-sevenths. I hope you found this helpful.